Well, we'll stay on the subject of food, Ron. We have Paula Velez here, a registered dietitian with the Utah Department of Health. And uh, just a little refresher course on the choosemyplate.gov. This replaces the food pyramid. It replaces my pyramid. It was correct. around forever. Right. Right. And this puts it in proportion, though. When you look at that plate, it really does show how you need to stack your right. plate. My plate is wonderful because it teaches us about portion control and how mm -hmm. to balance your plate. Right. And so we have a plate right here. And as you can see, half of it is going to be fruits and vegetables. Right, there's the line. Half there of it, go. fruits half and vegetables. Fruits and, vegetables. Uh -huh. and it's important to eat a variety. Okay. So change it up every day. They can be fresh, canned, frozen, right. however you can get them mm -hmm. in. But it's important to eat fruits and vegetables because that's going to help you reduce your risk for obesity, heart so disease, a lot of other problems. Well, and it's better, I think, to fill up on fruits and vegetables than it is on right. the carbs. That's going to be half a little okay. yes. And the grain group was right here, and we have mm -hmm. some pasta, and that can be bread, rice, tortillas. Mm -hmm. um, it's only going to be about a quarter of the plate. And the important two things to remember here is that you want to make half of your grains whole grains. Okay, so white rice is one, but you'd rather have like the the whole grain pasta whole than grain. the whole grain. 100 percent whole wheat. Is, okay, is better. You can have wheat. both. But <laughs> okay, and then the protein takes up a, about a quarter of the plate, yes, and right. that can be meat or beans, eggs. Eggs, um, okay. Seafood, mm -hmm. nuts and seeds go in this group, so it's the protein group. And it's important to eat from this group because the nutrients are going to help us build our, build our muscles, right. our bones, our blood. But this group is also, it can be high in fat and cholesterol. Okay. So, so we have to be careful there. Right, and watch so. the gravies and stuff like that that you would put exactly. with it as well. And we can't forget the dairy. Dairy is our last group. So here, um, milk, cheese, and yogurt is going to mm -hmm. be in that group. Mm -hmm. And just remember to do low fat or fat free, you'll be good. And we want to have milk about three times a day, so about three cups, two cups for children. And you do this for yourself, but you also need to let your kids start and developing yeah, good eating. Yeah, habits. and you can help them, you know, go grocery shopping with mm -hmm. you, help them pick out what fruits or vegetables they want to try, and right. help yep. create the meal. And I think it. when they help, they're that more helps. likely to try it. That's absolutely They're more likely right. to eat it. Okay, well, I didn't help, but I'm going <laughs> to eat the carrot. We're going to take a break and be back. We'll go try that uh, braised beef.